And every time you step aside, he needs to be, there you go. He needs to come right to you. We'll be practicing all, all those. <gasps> good boy. Very good. Very, very, very good. <gasps> good boy. And you step aside. Dog comes back, step aside. And dog and dog is by himself next to your feet. And here we go. Good boy. Step aside. Good job. I know it's very hard to see, but we'll go through this exercises and you're going to remember. Come on. I didn't stop. You didn't stop, silly. I did not stop, silly. Very good. Good boy. Very good. And here it's hard for me to see the video and the dog. But good boy. And you step aside. He comes back right to your feet. And you can turn either way. He knows how to turn. And when you stop, that's your puppy. That's your perfect little puppy. Now, when we started, there was literally a rodeo. And literally. So I don't know how you brush them, but that's how it needs to be. No. Good. Okay, and kind of get him up. No, just kind of get him up. No, I mean, just lift him up. Just lift him up. There you go. No, not, not that way. Really? <laughs> what, what are you doing? Just, there you go. That's all. Just so he's standing. Good. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. You're cute though. No. Good. And that's a, always a good thing. Always a good thing to have other people, you know, do this because that way it helps was understanding how that actually works. And reinforce him, he's been a very good boy. Good. And continue. Okay. Down. No, down. Good boy. So what I would like you to do now is eyes and ears. And you need to be able to look all inside and kind of prolong this and give him a treat. Sounds good. All right, go ahead for the next ear. Because if he ever gets infection or anything else, you'll be prepared for this. Very good. Excellent. Look at that. Good. If you ever need to do eye drops or any of this. Very good. Okay. And reinforcement. And then wait until he starts chewing before you go into his mouth. to see the mouth. Good. Good. Look right in there. Very good. Excellent. So you can see all the teeth and everything else. And you are done. Right? And right now he has all the equipment on because again this is um, how he should be outside in the beginning then later on you're going to start cutting some of the um, stuff when you're good especially with the e-collar all right you guys are done oh, he's a good boy and he's just in the house and i'm just coming out of the house okay and oops i forgot to close the door 
Now, notice one thing. First of all, is I am not talking to him, meaning that I'm not telling them to sit or down or any of this, okay? I'm not telling them anything. The only thing he cannot do is to cross that door line, okay? And that needs to be practiced hard, and that needs to be practiced all the time, because um, in case anything happens, plus this is just a really good um, thing for him not to charge any open door. Just because it's open does not mean anything. And it's actually mean to stay inside um, unless you are releasing him. So anytime you can practice this safely, practice it. And it has to be every door out, um, all of that. Um, just because you might don't care about the back door or whatever, door is a door. So a lot of times I would just practice it. And I'll just say, okay, before that or after that or quickly or whatever that is, but normally i would absolutely do this this way okay so as you can see he will be there for long periods of time and i usually go open the car do this do that i mean there's a lot of things that i'm doing that normally um he's just kind of sort of uh, there for this okay so that's what that takes now he can do whatever he wants right now he kind of laid down which is you know whatever uh, i'm gonna ignore all of it because i really don't care and i'm just closing the door and go living my, my, my normal life so whatever he will figure it out later on that he is not on any kind of position so that's kind of how that is there you go down Good boy. So, if we did not release him, he's gonna have to stay. There is no um, if it's a but, meaning that he really can't uh, get up and go anywhere if he did not release him. So, down means go down and stay until you're released that's basically what it means so we don't use stay at all i'm gonna make him bigger the second i get to my destination so my destination is actually going to go behind something so he can't really see me and this video is going to be about long the long down stays um he can do actually amazingly um, up to 45 minutes now in even in this age so I'm gonna get behind the bushes here and I'm gonna stick this out for you to see it and I'm obviously not videotaping the whole um, 45 minutes but I'm gonna videotape uh, five minutes exactly and we'll see uh, we don't retape these things so in the last couple of days we just do as many videos as we can and what happens here is um, five minutes represents pretty much the you know how you practice in your down stays now i'm doing this far away because this is where your actual dog is and this is where um, i am putting them and we also have a very windy day and there's a lot of things going on. Amanda is picking up um, poop as you saw in the previous video um, on the other side. And actually we have some construction going on in the garage as well. So he's been very good. Um, it's hard for them when, they, when, they, when there's such a, a lot of uh, wind for, you know, to be on the one spot but he's been a completely trooper and i'm just doing this just to show you that he can not only that he can do it but obviously you can't sit here and you know watch this for 20 30 40 minutes just that but you need to practice um you need to start practicing by literally two minutes in your house three minutes four minutes and then get it as far as you can as far as the practice time goes 
all this is really helping him with he repositioned himself but he didn't get up so all this is helping him maintain himself and um, avoid all the distractions and he actually has to stay on that particular uh, one spot so it's not like a place that he can actually have like the toys or whatever this is much more complicated command and it takes everything all the concentration the dog have to actually maintain that now I do this far away also just to show you in the point that you need to make it as hard as you can now at this point you cannot leave him like put him only one room and then leave to another room except expect him to stay that's not um, because you can't see him and you can't reinforce him and he's not gonna uh, you know behave the absolutely same way until you put some work in because as far as respect we all need to deserve it he's gonna come in home knowing everything but it's gonna take you a couple weeks be before your dog is perfect for you um, and a couple weeks means that you're gonna work and whatever it is that you're gonna say you're gonna mean and you're gonna follow through that's the that's the way you're gonna get the dog um, and if you're gonna start it from a day one, and literally the second I get there, that's gonna be a great, um, you know, um, I've been watching him, I'm sorry. Um, great opportunity to never even have an issues with him. So will you do it anywhere where it's not safe? Absolutely not, he's still a puppy. But um, that's why you have your that's why you have your dog training classes, and I'm just watching him because he he's got the you know he's now it's going five minutes already so he's a little bit looking around and I'm just gonna push it a little more just to make sure that he is not getting up. So now I can actually move because he decided not to do anything. So I'm gonna move. I'm gonna put him where I am right now. And I'm gonna move. So when I come back, um, it's very important for you not to automatically and immediately release the dog because what happens is he's waiting for you to come back. If you're gonna make an association that every time you come back, it's time to have a party, um, that's all that's gonna happen. So when you get there, you can reinforce the dog, but you really can't immediately let him go. And he has been here. He's been excited. So I'm gonna re I'm gonna absolutely reinforce him, but I'm not necessarily going to release him right away. I'm just not. I'm just gonna back off a little and see how he's not anticipating anything. So I can actually leave, or I can say, "Okay, <laughs> good boy, good boy, good, 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 good boy. Okay, free to go, free to go, boy." And these are circles. So we're gonna have a big circle when the dog is on the outside and have to go a little faster all the time. And then we're gonna do a little circle. <gasps> good boy. Good boy. Very good. And on the inside, the dog is have to be a little slower. And then we go back to the outside. Good boy. What a good boy. And he has to speed up. He has to speed up on that circle. That's right, he has to speed up. Oh, he's a good baby. Oh, he's a good baby. And inside circle. Good boy. Very good. This is how it's been. So, it's been fantastic. He's been fantastic. Little man. Good boy. And when you finally stop. Good boy. You're the best. Get some more treats, please, from you. Okay. And just walk them back and forth. Okay. Okay. And come back. 
good job. And we always let uh, no. Okay, because he did that, mm -hmm. uh, reinforce him and then walk one more time. Okay. Just give it to him. You gotta lift the muzzle sometimes. There you go. Because oh. he's going with his nose to eat it. <laughs> one more time, take him one more. Good job. Okay. So although I train them to do it, I normally let other people and come back. Good boy. What a good boy you are. Good boy. And you can take it off. Alrighty. And we're done. Good boy. So I have a place pretty much in every room and whatever that is. And they all look different, but so if I want to practice here, um, and I suggest you do, let's say if you want to ever put the package or, you know, like whatever that is, um, I am going to literally close the door here, kind of, sort of, but still going to be able to see him, right? So this is the door, this is him. And I make sure that I am coming out here like a crazy woman, talking to myself, knocking on the door, doing whatever the heck it is that you're normal. If you have a doorbell, you're going to ring the doorbell and you're going to desynthesize them to all of this. Uh, we will uh, work on that. So there is no issues whatsoever. But this way you are making yourself a crazy lady who is later on um, going to, you know, um, be able to get the packages and do whatever without him, you know, he can alert. You can bark until you said it's it's enough that you got in the place, but that's about all you're gonna do. And you really are trying to make him do it longer and longer periods of time. And here we go. So until you release him from a place and then he can go. Okay, good job. Thank you. Good. Very good. So when you practice, we do separate heel in the five different um, exercises. Good boy. So this is back and forth. That's your first exercise. Because if you just walk randomly, good boy, then pretty much you're gonna end up walking with the dog. And that's something we wanna avoid. So we want a dog to walk with you and not other way around. Good boy. Very good. Good boy. So you literally choose direction from point A to point B. Very good. Good boy. And you practice. Good boy. And that's pretty much about a minute um, on each exercise. So your whole healing and that should be done pretty much every walk you have. Oh, what a good boy. You are a good baby. Very good. And when you stop, good boy. Good boy. Very good. You.
Look at the, look at the way he lays down. <laughs> I, I, I just, I'm in love with your dog. My husband is scared. Because I'm in love with another small breed. See, just because I picked up a leaf doesn't mean anything at all. Sorry, it's quite. He was slimy. And the whole setting is just like that. It's very simple. He's not pulling or anything, so. And if he is, we're working with him, but as of right now, he's not, so. One second, sorry. Heel. Perfect. And then there's food now. Actually, we're going to pass right by that. Again, I know he saw it. Good boy. Very good. Heel. Very good. Very good. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. And when you stop, he kind of goes down on its own. Obviously, that's what he needs to be. Then I get away and force him. This is like the best spot, like right next to the store, because if there's going to be dogs coming in and out or whatever that is, uh, we can work on that. He's been fantastic with other dogs, meaning that he will pass them by with no issues um, on the heel. But the group classes will take care of the rest because he does love his friends. Um, so we're going to kind of stay and watch and wait. He didn't like that um, that garbage can thingy, but and see if we can see any dogs for you but he's actually been absolutely perfect and I still periodically give up the food so and the reason for that is I'm just gonna make sure to ask you to do the same because the nicer you are with him, the less conflict you do and more permanent their behaviors. Um, you don't want a terrier to fight you. You also don't want a terrier to ask for anything. He needs to do it immediately. So your positive and negative reinforcement should be on time and prompt because that way he stays stable and it's really no issues. So as far as that. 
Good boy. Yeah, that. Um, was able to see one. I couldn't find it in a store now one. So <laughs> Alright. Then we can actually go because that's all I wanted to see and show you. That we worked hard on that, but this is now a reality. And I'm gonna stop right here. Look how he does it. Perfect. And now we're going to go again. Here. That's because of the car. So he's like a backing off sometimes with a car, but very shortly when the car is too close, very shortly comes back though. And we're gonna stop right here. Perfect. I'm gonna adjust just because I have this one leaving. One second. And then we're gonna go heel to that. little bit off the road he was starting to go down when I stopped but I wanted him off the road very good and we're next to my car and we're done yep. good, good. 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 Faster. good boy what a good boy and then slow baby he's not gonna have to tell him that I'm just doing this because I'm telling you, I don't know how much we can see from these videos, so I'm just kind of sort of good boy. And then we can run, 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 and we're all good, and we're all good, and then we're going to slow down. Good job. Good boy. Good boy. Very good. Very good. Excellent boy. Yay! And there's bird in the bushes screaming. Good. Good. Very good. Very good. Excellent boy. Very good. Good boy. Woohoo! <laughs> and complete stop. Good boy. Very good. Very good. Yep. Good. And those are 90 degree angles. Good. Good boy. Good. So again, all of these things is just a reminder. You're going to remember that. Good boy. You can turn into him. Sometimes because you slow down, he is trying to sit. Good boy. And then 90 degrees. Good. And then 90 degrees this way. Perfect. And this way. Good boy. Good. Good boy. Good. Good. Perfect. And this way. Good job. 
You're literally walking into him and he needs to give you the right away. Good boy. Good. What a good boy. And sometimes you'll see him slow down on these turns right here because he thinks you're stopping. But you're not. Good boy. Very good. And again, when you stop, And those were corners, 90 degree each way. So for a second, my phone just stopped uh, videotaping, but now the dog is relaxed and I am going to open it up. So when you open up, there should be no touching, scratching, pushing, doing any of that. That's how it should be. Um, I'm going to reinforce it just because it's been a long time, but you don't have to. And the dog is needs to accept putting the equipment on, whatever that is. So in this case, it's going to be the e-collar. I am going to try to do it with my one hand, but, and let me just do that. And let me see if I can do it one-handed, this one, because you have a different one. This is called um, Chameleon, so this is a little different E collar is the one that we use It's the one that is expensive and I'll tell you and explain to you why we use it but we don't really use the other one now I think it's good enough just for the purposes you see how he is standing and he is not charging that um, opening so that is what you have to demand yes you're gonna have to work on this but if your dog comes out of crate just like that, you're going to have a good dog for the whole day. If your dog blows through it, he will blow through everything else, okay? That's a basic rules here, and that's a very, very basic stuff for him to understand. And these things I did not put right. They usually face him backwards. So I'm going to try to flip him just so he doesn't feel him. And okay. <laughs> good boy. So if you don't have any time, let's say you're running low on time, uh, of feeding your dog by hand and making your dog work or whatever it is you have a tough morning or tough evening whatever that is okay that is an easy exercise to do for you to just maintain the training no okay i mean as easy as this no That's working on the patience. That is constantly establishing that everything you have is yours. No. Okay. No. No. Because he was pushy. You saw that? Okay. No pushiness here. None of that. No. So breakfast or dinner, if you just do that, you're already working on it. Um, he's a, he has a high food drive and some of the other drives. So when you see him shaking like this, is because he really wants to just eat it. But he has to think about it, which is hard on him. No. Okay. So that's little shake things. That's all normal for high drive dogs who just can't help themselves, but to um, be impatient. But he is now no, not to do anything about it. No. And the more he's moving, the longer, no. You want to give it to him when he is not moving. Other way, you're going to be reinforcing whole bunch of movements. He is the most lovely, lovely man. The most lovely. I don't know. Love him to pieces. This is like the best dog ever. He's definitely the best Welsh I ever worked with. Love you, boy. Kill. Yep.
Good boy. Good boy. Heel. Good boy. I'm going to reinforce this one. So when he comes back, um, in the beginning, you're going to reinforce every single time the dog does something for you. And in about two weeks, it's all going to be a random reinforcement. So we'll talk about that. But I'm randomly reinforcing some of the downs that I do like more than others. Heel. Good. Now I'm literally walking five steps. This is one of the best exercises for him. Good boy. One of the best exercises for him. Um, just because it keeps him paying attention. Heel. Good. Good boy. Very good. You're such a good boy. Heel. Excellent boy. Very good. I'm going to reinforce this one because it's really, really, really good. So I'm going to tell him that I really like that. Good boy. Very good. One of the best exercises. If you don't have time to exercise with him at all during the day, at least do this one. And you can do this one anytime in the middle of your walk. Heel. And I will keep him in check. Good boy. Very good. And I'm making literally anywhere from five to 10 steps. Good boy. And the down is automatic because if you stop for anything, if you stop for crossing roads, if you stop for absolutely anything, uh, we want the dog under control. And you don't need to be worried where the dog is in front of you or whatever it is. It's right there. Good. And right now it's kind of self-explanatory that we are doing um, the healing, so I'm not leaving them. Heel. Sometimes I'm looking through the camera and sometimes it's difficult. Very good. All right. We're all done with this one. <gasps> Who's a good boy? Love you. Hi. Okay. So we're starting with, um, stuff that he loves and absolutely hates okay so with stuff that absolutely hates is he doesn't like any kind of machineries around him or anything that moves that makes noise or whatever that is it took me a pretty long time to desynthesize him to the carts the you know all the moving stuff that in the P pet smart or whatever that is around him uh with the cars he's still freaky he's still bolting um, well, he's not bolting anymore. He's kind of just backs off and, um, he still needs, um, a lot of work because desensitization sometimes take even longer. So you just need to make sure he is not doing it with you and he will stop eventually and trust you with the process. But, um, let's just start with, uh, this, which is, he absolutely hates and, uh, well, he used to hate. Now he hates it, but he doesn't react. Um, you can't change the way they feel about this stuff at all. Look at both his body language and the thing. You really can't do that. But what you can do is to make him okay with it. Um, so he will stay. He will allow you to, you know, he'll trust you with it. But that's as much as you can ask. Now, I'm also stuck of pulling this thing up. Um, but this is kind of how he hates it. I'm going to reinforce him right now in a second because that's a lot for him. So although um, all of those are kind of understandable, you know, but he can't get this world. It's up to you to tell him what to do. So if you're telling him to heal next to something, 
I mean, in the, in the beginning, I couldn't even heal next to the car. I mean, standing car, not moving car. So, now he does it. Good boy. So, I'm going to do it one more time, the stuff that he hates, and we're going to move on to the stuff that he doesn't hate. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to drag it this way. I'm going to drag it this way. No. And he's extremely uncomfortable. However, he takes it now. And he listens to me. So those are important things. And I'm going to get over with that. Good boy. Alrighty. And everything also that you need to play with your um, impulse control is the stuff that he absolutely loves. Like the balls, like the toys, like all of that. Um, this stuff he loves. He loves to play, he loves to grab. So everything that he likes to play with and whatever, you need to provide this kind of exercise as well. So you are making sure that he stays either in the place or in the downstay while um, you're able to, you know, try to play with him and try to, yeah, good boy. There we go. Good boy. And that's his absolutely favorite place that he loves, 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 loves. Okay. But he will maintain Good boy. Good boy. Perfect boy. It's a perfect boy. Perfect boy. Okay. So that's called impulse control game. And you are just putting your dog either on a stay or any other way. You good boy. It's got dark so fast, huh? It got dark so fast. He's a good baby. He's a good baby. He's a good baby, baby. He's a good baby, baby. All right. So that's a, one of the exercises you can do for his dinner or whatever. And then you can play with him. Woohoo. Okay. This is the other easy exercise. No. Quite. Nope. And again, you see that shaking? That's because he really wants to, and he knows he can't. It's, I really wanted to, but I can't. So, that's what that is. Now, sometimes what's on the floor, he can't have it. Sometimes he cannot have it. So you can practice, no, you can practice that both ways. Now he's going to try to reposition himself away from it, but I'm going to bring him right back by only giving him food right here. So he can't really go anywhere. Or by pushing the food closer to him. Or moving myself away further. Or doing whatever. It's empty dish, so so put them over here. That's another great exercise um, to increase patience and to establishing the understanding with the animal that whatever it is that you have is yours and you are willing to share it not necessarily that it's his and again sometimes you practice with uh, anything that he can't have so you put something in front of him you work on it and then you take it away and then I would suggest to pay him with your own treats and the first year there's a lot of payments and after that, it's less and less and less and less. So, got it, babe? Got it, big boy?
You're so good. You're so good. You're so good. You're so lovely. Lovely. Good boy. Go on. <laughs> good boy. All right, give me a second. I gotta, I gotta put myself together over here. Down. Perfect. It's a good thing Amanda was there to distract him. Right away. Very good. So this is what's called the random down. So anytime you have a dog off leash and you were in the okay in the house or in a safe area or whatever that is, um, you're gonna randomly tell him to go down anywhere he is, and you are going to enforce it. Now, this is one of the actually he's gonna do it by himself, trying to get some more treats, and that's okay, but. We're not letting them because he's too smart. So he already thinks that that exercise is uh, already done. And we already know what we're doing. Personal time. Down. Perfect. Very good. Okay. Good boy. So um, that's creates um, a lot of a lot of potential um, you know good behaviors because you can always stop the dog from going anywhere like pretty much like I did when Amanda was there I mean I did that to stop him from going to her um, you can also stop him from going to another dog or anything else so we'll heavily practice that down good we will heavily practice that in the group classes and that creates the off-loose control just as much as comp. So this is kind of sort of two, um, you know, two parts of the same thing. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Go on, go on, go on, go on. He's typically hanging out around me the whole time now, um, just because he's used to working now. So he's really good at staying with you. And uh, that's actually perfect. Don't know where he went. Yeah, that's where you are. Okay. Okay. Yeah, somebody overdid some healing with you, huh? Wouldn't know who that was. That would be me. So anyway. And he's just trying to help himself because again, Normally you'll see the dog not expecting anything, but this guy is very much, I didn't tell him anything, so he's trying to see if he can deserve, if he, he can get another treat. Another thing. Good. Good boy. So I'm going to switch it up on him just because. Good. Okay. Right. I'm going to switch it up on you. Good job. Down. Perfect. Perfect little man. Okay. <laughs> Come on, bro. Try not to tell him anything for a little bit, but most likely not going to happen. He's just enjoying it. And he sees Amanda, so let's see if he's going to...
Down. Good. him a little bit. Just just call his name, just talk to him. Just just talk to him. Hey Hi. Hi, and stop talking. Down. Perfect. Come on. Talk to him again. Okay. Okay. Hi, You're so cute. You're so cute. Yes, you are. You're so adorable. That's kind of how you want it. You do want him not to just rush to anything. And, um, I didn't say anything, so he was fine. And he just kind of went to her and saw her. And whatever that is, not jumping on her, which is a good thing. He's expecting me to say the, come. So I'm just gonna change it on him. There you go. Perfect. Okay. And he learned a very good that he's gonna leave everybody pretty much alone except me which is gonna happen when, with two of you. So when you're walking, he is learning big time to ignore pretty much everybody except the family. Down. I didn't realize it was already seven minutes, so we're gonna stop this. But he is fantastic. You're so good. You're so good. Okay. Now, it's always a good idea to do the nails in the muzzle, always. Uh, even though the dog is perfectly fine with this, there's some things can happen. Um, you can cut too short, somehow hurt him, whatever that is. So that way he has no ability to uh, go ahead and uh, get some treats mm -hmm. and start with your nails. Just grab one foot and the way you do the nails is you're not overpowering the dog so just do a all right if it's like that long uh, reinforce the dog okay go ahead and do one nail okay perfect and reinforce the dog again and drop that foot Leave that foot alone. Very good. Let's start with the next foot. Mm -hmm. If he's sitting, that's okay. Just do your thing. Good job. Just one. Perfect. Okay. And you see how she always holds the foot a little longer? That's what you want. Then drop the foot. There you go. Awesome. Okay. So I would like you to see if you can get one more nail done. Mm -hmm. And normally I would suggest you only do a one nail at the time, you know, and don't really push it. No, down, good. So try it again, mm -hmm. but you might be, yeah. Very good, good boy, very good, perfect, perfect. So. Those are kind of things that you want to, that's how you want to be doing them. Okay. So from this point on, you can take your muzzle off and that's kind of also going to let you work on the muzzle as well. Yep. Go forward. Yeah, you are. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come 
Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. Good. Good boy. Down. Good. No, down. Good boy. Yeah, there's an animal there. There's an animal behind you. Makes on all those types. Go. Go, boy. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. It's a good thing you don't have to wear a mask. Right? Who's the biggest boy? Alright, here's a door and I have no hands. So let me see. Now every door is just like that. Okay. Good. Good boy. And we buy our car. Come on. I just want him. Come on. A little bit off the down. A little off the road. Good boy. He's a baby. Down. Good boy. One second. Here we go. All right. And you take this off. And take all that. Get underneath him. It's okay. Good job. And we're going to put this. Okay. Now, yes, he can get up. Yes, he can sit up. Um, we did, we did train to lie down for the most part and we're very doing good uh, make sure that your airbag is off at all times you're driving and um the seat belt is not going to allow him to move too much um, and this seat belt has been modified so it's much shorter than the original version uh, we did shorten it up um, but you don't want him to hit the dashboard if anything happens now he can also drive in the middle seat i don't have currently the middle seat in this car uh, but he did drove in the middle seat just with that seat belt and again he can get up he can come and kind of look at the window um, but he cannot get anywhere to you or anything else so you are using the e-collar here so he's not coming anywhere close to you um, he will for the most part he will lie down while you're driving but he will come up um, if it's a, you know, especially when you come off the intersection or anything else, I mean, I mean, off the highway or whatever, he does get up and it's okay. So this seat belt is going to keep him in there. He can go in and out of the car at his age. So no problems with that, unless you have a very high truck, which, you know, um, I don't know what you have. So, um, that's basically the SUV is great. He is happy to go and He's happy to do these things okay so after that when you're ready to get off you just unhook that and again just because you open the door he can't come out okay. until around hey hey over good 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 and around Good. That's off. Good. Around. Down. 
perfect. You go boy and you go girl. So those are extremely important skills of working together. Look at those two. <gasps> you are good, good guys. Yeah, you are. And I can go with this forever. I'm not going to do this, but this is a, he is really good with this. And, uh, um, in the group classes, uh, you're gonna, you're going to, you know, just make it even better, but around. Very good. Very, very, very good. No, go around. Over, over, over. Good, good. Perfect. Perfect. Not for you. Not, not for you. That's for him. And that's for you. Okay. Good babies. Good babies. Good babies. And okay. Good babies. And they are perfect together. They're friends. Come on. You can go. And as of right now, he wants more treats, huh? You want more treats, huh? You guys do. Yay. You guys are so cute together. So cute together. <laughs> She's offering you to play. Good babies. <laughs> Come on. Good babies. All right. They're up to play, but uh, Tada. Here we have him. But he is, he's awesome. He is awesome. He is awesome. I don't see him anymore. <laughs> All right, come. Come. Good. Go on. Come. Good. 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 Down. 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 Okay. Good. You are the worst listener. That's always nice. Good job. Okay, go play. Okay, 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 okay. Yay, go play. They're perfect. And they love each other. They absolutely love each other. You can't have a better relationship than this. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let them go and play. Is it this guy's? Oh, this this one. One second. I got everything hanging on top of them. Okay, there's people passing by. Good. 
Let's pretend we're in line. Good. We're pretending we're in line. This is a brand new place, so he's never been here. because we're really not. Heel. Good. He can't be behind a little bit when the cars are too close. But... Sit. Hey, sit. Good. Way too close. Heel. Up. Very good. He's a good boy. Very, very, very good. And come up closer. Come on. Good. He's um, down. No, down. Good. Good, down. His um, not willingness to come up close to the car um, is workable, so you're just gonna have to, you know, spend more time. We did spend as much time as possible, but he's kind of worried about the car, and that's okay. I'm not pushing it because he's doing everything, and this just kind of sort of bothers him. So I'm not going to. Very good. I mean, they even talked to him, and the girl talked to him, and he didn't get up. So, very good. Very happy with this. So, yeah, large machinery he is worried about. And, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but he does need to trust you and heal you, and that will t heal with you, and that will take some time. But it's all workable. Good boy. Wee, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Please. Okay. What a good boy. Who's a good boy? Good boy. No, please. Quit. <laughs> you are so adorable. Now, I'm showing you how many treats you gotta do in the beginning. The first, um, not free, it treats. It's a, he's working for his food, so there's no treats uh, for the behaviors that he knows. We use the treats heavily for new behaviors, but not for these. But this is like, you're gonna do the first um, maybe a week or so after that, there was going to be like less treats and I mean, less food and then no food. Okay. Please. Good. And right now, I'm not giving them anything. <gasps> Please! So I'm starting to do randomly. That's what you're going to do. 
the after starting with already second week and then pretty much no food afterwards very little i mean he's still very young um if i didn't tell him he can't get up no nope. place good no good he also know where it is and he also is too smart so he constantly gonna try to lead you so right now he's like well we gotta go i don't have to stay here we're practicing go nope place we're practicing go to place so please let's move on so he's constantly like that okay Gonna reinforce him for following me because it's pretty far. Yes. And I'm gonna reinforce that far. So it just depends. Um, we will certainly discuss your reinforcement schedule, but I want him happy, and I also want him um, not leading me. So. No, place. Constantly do this holds with you, with him. Because too smart for his own good. Too smart. I'm gonna do a random hold here so I'm not gonna come up as fast you constantly need to be ahead of him you got a very intelligent dog so mess with him as much as you can you will have a better dog And this is completely without a treat. That's how it's going to be by the probably week three. 
and uh, from that point on you'll be reinforcing new stuff hopefully you'll go to group classes and learn new behaviors and have fun with them so that's pretty much represents how your first three weeks um, you're gonna work with him Ooh. Oh, you're gonna go by yourself? We're not gonna reinforce that. <laughs> Come. Good. Good. Okay. Oh. Where are you? Good. Okay, rabbit, let's go. <laughs> no. Where are you? Good God, behind me. Come on. been much better hanging out with you I mean much better so in the beginning all I saw is her his butt now he you can't get away from him <laughs> which is a great thing He might want to go to the bathroom, might not. All right, he doesn't. Okay, let's go.
dog behind you. That's what he's good at. Drop a couple there. Nope. Come. And I'm gonna pick this up because I know I dropped a couple. Okay. And he wants to go another direction now because of. Um, Amanda is outside. He loves Amanda. Every one of them do. She ain't training. She just loves on them. So that's that. But then later on, they love me. Come! Good boy. directly behind me. I don't have those things on my butt. Anyway, we're done. Right? <gasps> right? Come. Come on. Good job. Come on closer. What? And good boy. And we're done. Okay. Good boy. Please? Good boy. I'm gonna hide behind this, but I'm gonna stick my phone out for you to um, see your puppy. And I'm gonna make him obviously much bigger than that so you can see him. Here we go. Um, so, on the place, he can be literally up to 40 minutes without distractions. Obviously, with the distractions, we make that time much shorter. Um, he is most comfortable on the place as far as staying because technically he can walk around he can change his position he can lie down he can be upside down he can play with his toy as long as he is not um, leaving that particular area and the place uh, we work on everything so I mean literally um, something on the ground sometimes when you can't put anything I mean just you can just kind of mark um, even tiles with like electric tape to make a place for the dog just so it has some kind of physical uh, barriers. It's also can be, um, you know, any dog bed. It could be, I mean, any elevated dog bed. It could be a particular, um, well, basically anything that you can create and you can put as a uh, place for the dog. So. All of this is really useful and you can have several places in your house, a uh, couple places in that. Just when you send it, make sure that it's easy for the dog to know. Um, sometimes when it's in the house places, I literally have a names for it, go there or go there. Um, and then dog knows and general place, obviously for anything. So the first you really have to introduce it to him, to the new place, and we will do that at your house when I bring him back. Obviously he's not have any places before, so we're gonna introduce him to the place in your house, and you will be able to um, learn that easy process, and then once he generalizes it, it can be done anywhere with anything. So he has been the most, um, incredibly behaved boy at this point so he's very smart um, 
he's a terrier, so he is a fight. You know, he's he's a fighter as far as what he wants to do, but he also very much um, loves his training and loves being with you and loves working. I mean, the love for work really started with him during even the first week. I mean, it's really been great. Now, this video we don't do more than this. Uh, we will do a five minute down stay because it's much harder behavior uh, in a different place but this is just to show you that that's what you're practicing especially now this is where i am at the moment so this is how far i am now obviously you don't have to practice that far but anything that you do um anything that you do practice try to make it harder um, by you know either walking away from him once you can you know once you can actually do it so we'll go over all this in the lesson but you have to keep an eye on the dog even if you're leaving so usually we put like a mirror or you know i can see him like you know if i walk away somewhere that I can't see him then i definitely put something that i can't see him so it's not like you can just put the dog on the stay and leave completely so that you can't even do it with a human <laughs> so that's all good but he's completely comfortable he will be there for as long as we need him and obviously we'll have to work on this with you but outside of that that's one of his favorite commands and you're going to be one of his favorite uh, times out when you need it okay so i'm just gonna okay gonna start coming in so you can see it now the biggest thing is when you come to him is not for him not to anticipate that he's leaving so I can literally I mean he's I can literally just come in here and stop and not really do anything because you don't want him to associate you coming back every single time to release him right so you always want that difference now i can reinforce them but again don't do it immediately separate everything in time with your pup he's been working for his food for all the behaviors he knows and for all the new behaviors or behaviors performed outside of the normal training area anywhere or whatever he is doing treats so treats for anything exciting, um, you're taking them out. Treats are for you, um, you know, doing a dog training classes, all that stuff. But when you're just practicing and instead of feeding the dog blindly in the, in the cup or, you know, in a dish, um, working for his food, he's the most preferred. So that's what I would advocate to you, especially when he comes back for the first couple of months. And if you get used to it, um, that's actually good for everybody because it's good for everybody to work for their food. I mean, it creates a better relationships and it creates um, less, you know, worried um, about your terrier, just not interested or motivated. Um, to do any kind of work because they are unfortunately extremely intelligent and they have to have a job in order for them to be happy. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. And he comes back to this hoping that he's going to be more treats, but there's going to be no more treats. Going to be no more treats. I didn't put him so that's all good. And we're just going to have some love, some love and scratching. <laughs>